So what's up guys, my name is Jay Code, and today we're going to be talking about streaming. Streaming can be quite the cumbersome task to many and a lot of people don't know exactly how to get started. You've ever been at a point where you're wanting to stream but you're sitting in front of your computer like, what's a stream key? So today I want to share one of those easy options to get right into the streaming game. There's a company called Restream. So Restream is a streaming service that allows you to broadcast to over 30 different platforms simultaneously without the use of third-party software. Without having to use third-party software such as Streamlabs, you can stream from all of your hardcore fans on YouTube, Twitch, or even your grandma over on Facebook, or all three if you're feeling crazy. It's kind of amazing how something like this exists, and I definitely wish I was hip to something like this before I started streaming. So the first thing you would want to do is head over to Restream.io and create an account. After creating an account, you'll be introduced to an interface where you can begin adding channels to your uh, channel. In this interface, to your left, there's going to be a destinations tab. You can add every single one of your outlets and will always have the ability to toggle them on and off if there's certain audiences that you want to stream to. Next, we'll start creating a title for our stream. What's cool about all of this is that you can update each title independently or you can create a blanket title and Restream will update all of your platforms at once. Now, right under the Destinations tab is the Studio tab. Clicking that will open your Live Studio interface. Depending on your browser, there'll be a pop-up that will ask you to allow Restream to use your camera and microphone. Here, you can select your webcam of choice and your microphone that's going to be subjected to your hot breath. After confirming, you should see a test view of yourself in the Live Studio. At this point, you can begin customizing your live feed by clicking the Graphics tab over to the right. In this tab, you can upload your own personal logo, which will appear to the top right of your live stream, an overlay, or a background that shows when your camera isn't activated. That's useful for intermissions, pauses, or like going to the bathroom. I don't, I don't know what y'all be doing. Below these options, you'll see participant names, where you can customize your name as it shows up on your live feed. This will pop up in the bottom left. You can also change its primary color for that text as well. Okay, so you got your live stream customized, your mic set up, and you got them hands ready for anybody trying to catch them. You can immediately start your stream by clicking go live in the top right of the live studio window. At any time in your stream, you're able to add up to four friends to co-stream with you. Below your live view screen, you can click invite guest. This will generate a link Link that you can send to the homies on the block now time at restream recognizes this and will open a window of their live feed that you can toggle on whenever you're ready to be embarrassed the co-stars of your stream can also edit the name that appears on their screen God damn it. During the entirety of your stream, the chat tab in your interface is what's going to display what everybody's saying across all of your platforms. Who says what where would be displayed with an icon next to their comment. You can also choose a target and display specific comments to put folks on blast that are talking that hoo-ha. You can do the same thing in the captions tab if you want to keep a specific text on screen for everyone to see. Maybe plug in your Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, MySpace, Habo Hotel. There's also an option to download the chat interface to your desktop, or you can embed the chat itself into your third party stream streaming software such as Streamlabs. While we're on the subject, there's also an option to plug the stream key of Restream into your third-party streaming software in the event that you want to stream video games or keep all of your different scenes that you pre-made. Maybe you just want to broadcast to all of your different platforms and nothing more. But yeah, that's really the basic rundown of Restream and how useful it can be, especially for those who want to get straight into live streaming without the hassle of setting up third-party software. It's definitely great for web seminars and conferences. YouTubers like myself can also use Restream to hold discussions that are both inclusive and personable, or to simply connect with all all of your streaming platforms, avoiding the divide between your audiences. Cause don't nobody like being neglected. Even though sometimes I be neglecting you guys. I'm sorry. So yeah, if you want a simplistic, user-friendly take on the streaming life, then definitely go check out Restream. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Take my word for it. <laughs> Yo, if this little tutorial was helpful to you, leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you're new around here. And like I always say, I'll see you guys later. Peace!